High Plains Prospectors, Terp, Scrap Iron, Tyler, Kevin is out there talking to the property owner. We are going on to a property that was at one time a very busy, very active uh, park. Apparently this guy built it down here. There was a huge swimming hole. People used to come back here. When was it that people used to really frequent this, this place? Early, early 1900s. I think uh, even the late 1800s. It's like a water um, park. Kind of like a, an early water park, basically, built on a large stream. Some people call it a river that runs through here. We'll take you in and show you. Uh, been a lot of activity here for a long time, so hopefully if we're lucky we can find a little bit of silver. That's what our goal is today. Maybe some cool relics, too. That was built a while ago. You can yeah. see the rock retaining. So this is the swim hole itself. They got bubblers out there and everything. This is pretty well maintained. Yeah, yeah. This is better than I thought it was going to be. Is that a two, two cent, cent piece? piece? That's what it says. Oh my goodness. What year is it? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Boy, it's going to be tough to get a year off. Oh of. my goodness. This is a I've good never place to found be. one of those. That's you wicked. you got to be kidding me. That sure as hell looks like it to me. You've got to be kidding me. Is there more in here? What? There's got to be more around here. That's just this is my That's first crazy. target. That was like 10 seconds in. It was my, I didn't even. Two cents. Holy cow. Oh awesome. my goodness, that's awesome. God. All right, we're just metal detecting around this old cabin. And uh, scrap iron, already found a two cent piece. I haven't found a whole lot. I found a wheat penny a minute ago, and then I just dug up this Lincoln. That's uh, 1964. The weedy was the 50s, so I thought that was a pretty good sign. We're finding a lot of coins here thus far. There's an old uh, chimney stack over there. It's probably relatively modern, but I mean, I'm, I'm guessing that thing dates back into the 50s just by looking at how old the rocks are weathered and stuff. But so far, we're doing pretty good. Two, first two cent piece. Ten seconds into the hunt. I'm kind of metal detecting here with scrap iron. He's using the AT Pro today. And I got the Mine Lab Safari. And uh, I'm just kind of following him around, uh, getting an idea of the signals. And uh, we found, what did you say yours was? Put it, put it on there again, real quick. 81. Solid 81. And this is a 38 on here, but it's reading up here in the silver. So you can tell there's a huge difference in sound. But, I mean, it's giving me pretty much the equivalent signal. And I think it's shallow, too. Yeah, it seems to be, like, right on top. I think when this thing beeps like that, it means it's shallow. I mean, it's like it's in the... Right there in the X. Well, I mean, you know, this is one of those instances where you think you're about to dig a regular clad dime. 81, 82, you know, you're thinking that's just a regular clad dime, maybe, but, you know, you pop this thing out, it's probably worn down. And the rosy. Well, yeah, it's a rosy. 64? 67. 57. Nice. Good find. Hold it up there. And so... Boy, this has been a good sight so far. Dig the dime. I'm excited about this base. We've, we haven't traveled I know. 50 yards from the truck. Oh, I left your truck door open, too. Yeah, that's gonna, 
I have to go that. get the bug spray because these damn yeah, it's these out things of are, control. You can see them buzzing the camera. I'm not sure what it is, oh, but on. it looks like silver. I'm not sure. Oh, come on. Boy, I almost. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, <laughs> Merc. Dude, a Merc. <laughs> this place is awesome. <laughs> what are we looking at? 44. Dude. Uh, yeah, we're gonna hang out here for a little bit. Nice. All right, well, I just popped out what looks to be a sweet older buckle. Oh man, I'm metal detecting along here with this Mine Lab Safari, and so far I'm pleased. Uh, I just found the top of what looks to be a button, maybe, and it picked it right up. I mean, it rang somewhere right around where a nickel would, maybe, which on this. You know, you'd expect a 50 on an AT Pro. On this, it was around 17. So, learning the uh, scales and the signatures, but so far, I'm relatively pleased with this. And this machine is extremely light. It's got, a, I think, like a carbon fiber shaft down here, and uh, the coil's real light. So, so far, so good. Some pretty good finds thus far on this property. All right, well, I started to not get this on film because I thought it was just a penny. And I believe it is, but it's kind of neat because this is one of those flattened pennies. Used to get like a fair or something like that. So that's pretty neat. We'll clean it up and see what it is. <laughs> Scrap iron's got a good signal. What are you reading there? AT Pro. Couple coins in Sounds there. Sounds deeper, maybe, huh? 83 and 87. Okay. There's a couple coins in there, isn't there? There might be, but boy, that's sure. That's hitting hard, isn't it? This is weird getting used to this machine. The, the pinpointer actually stays on. Oh, wow. Which is kind of nice. You're not having to push it down the whole time. Jeez, had a hard time finding that. It's like a Coca Cola pin or something. Yeah. What? <laughs> Your metal detector didn't want to pick it up because it's probably like zinc and shit, or, but it did because it's nice and round. That was a, that was trouble. Yeah, that was kind of hard to find. <laughs> it's neat though. <laughs> there you go. Uh, okay, there you go. All right, striking again. Just hitting this area. It's just, I, we think is where people have been camping for quite a while. And uh, I'm with the AT Pro, got my Pro Pointer, and there he is. Nice. 58, second one, and an older two cent, still undetermined age, but we'll get back to you. Alright, I was metal detecting along, this is a old path coming up the side of this hill, the rock ledge there, and I got a good signal right here in the middle of the path, I thought it was pretty neat. This is a little container, looks like for someone's tooth, and it says my first tooth on it clean it up here in a little bit and let you see it. I don't think it's silver, but I thought it was pretty neat. All right, Travis and I have a pretty good spot here. But we're still kind of exploring this property. I think these guys went down to the stream. It used to be an old swimming hole uh, from the late 1800s up. People still camp here. And they might be on something, so we're gonna run down there and see if we can find them, see what they're up to. Kevin yet? found a 1914 dime, silver dime over here. A what? Sweet spot. Josh and I both found silver dimes. Oh, really? 
And maybe like a, you're talking about like maybe a Navy buckle? Like badass? <laughs> like badass buckle? Yeah, it's pretty badass. That is cool. <laughs> and I found another part to it. As I've well. got Wait, wait until you get the camera out. Don't mess with it. <laughs> People, oh, yeah, let me come over and help. 14 dime, 14 right, dime right, there. There. right there. Let me see that dime. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh yeah. There's oh. Some. What is this it? is fresh out of the hole too. I didn't look at it. Is it a token or something? I don't know. It looks like it's like colonial. Oh, shit. No, what is it? Two and a half cents. What? What? Let me see what this is. What is that? Too bad it's not silver. Two and a half cent. Looks foreign though. How what's that say on it? Nether Netherland. No, so it's Netherland. Any Netherland. Con not Kroner. Conninger. Eighteen ninety eight. What? Eighteen ninety eight. Yeah, right so there. Sweet dude. Kevin. Nice. <laughs> We're rocking here's, it here's today. Let me see your you. dime. The dime is also something Netherland. Really? Yeah. It's silver? Well, it's a ten cent. Oh. Ten cent silver, but look on the front. Yeah, that definitely is. I've seen that before. That's a. Yeah, Netherland. Yeah, that's say that's definitely silver, a silver though. piece yep. for sure. Yeah, it is like dude. Foreign oldness. Keep cleaning this. Uh, keep cleaning this area that's out. Going in the zipped up pocket. All right, we figured we'd do a quick wrap up here. Travis's finds. He started off right out of the gate with <laughs> right out of the gate. What is this, a two cent piece? You said you got a year off of it. It's 1865. 1865. One swipe. First two cent piece <laughs> within two minutes of metal detecting. He found two pieces of silver, which is nice. I don't know what the snail shells do in there, but uh, quite a bit of clad. I think everybody found some clad. Weedies. Yeah, you found some weedies. Which is a good sign finding all this clad because it means that this place has not been metal detected to death. Yeah, so good job, Travis, AT Pro. Tyler using the Fisher F19. Got a lot of stuff too. These are really neat. I believe are old bobby pins. If anybody can confirm that, let us know. This buckle, really cool. I think it's silver plated. Not quite sure it is silver. We haven't cleaned it up yet, but. It does not quite look like it, but it's got a heavy plating on it. Looks like a piece of jewelry of some sort. Bunch of clad. Really neat makeup case. Again, finding all these things just confirms that this place has not been metal detected to death. Kevin, really delivered today using the AT Pro, right? Yep. Old fishing lure. Really neat. A couple Dutch coins. 1898, which I believe is your oldest coin to date. Flip it over two and a half cents. Get a look at that. Two and a half cent piece. Really neat. And then he also found a couple feet of each other. Just within a couple feet of each other. Another Dutch coin, silver. First silver coin for Kevin. Date on it, 1914. Good find. Myself, not too bad with a 1944 Mercury dime. Bunch of pennies, couple wheats, and somebody's container for their first tooth. Looks like the name on it is Litany. And I was metal detecting with the Mine Lab Safari. Very pleased with the machine. Did well today. All in all, we had a good hunt. Hopefully, we get to come back, do it again. Hopefully, find a little bit more silver next time. We had a good time. Thanks for letting us come out. Don't forget to visit our website at www.highplainsprospectors.com where you can find the finest in metal detecting and treasure hunting supplies.